Hi, welcome to the Firm Tech Channel. In this video, I'll talk about cloud formation. All right. So, assume that you got a requirement wherein you have to create AWS services like VPC, EC2, RDS, S3, and many other services. And the same task you might expect to deploy in another AWS account in near future. So, creating them manually uh, in both accounts will be very tedious and also time-consuming. Right. And also, manually creating them leaves you a higher risk of making errors and or inducing uh, inconsistency too right so here comes the cloud formation wherein you can use a template uh, like a template files and using that you can create the aws resources all right so uh, cloud formation uh, is a platform that deploys aws services and also it can scale much faster more efficiently and also more securely all right so it is also described as the infrastructure automation or infrastructure as a code tool so similar to uh, the terraform but terraform uh, it is not specific to any cloud but here cloud formation is specific to aws cloud alone right so uh, manually approaching uh, previously uh, we used to do manually right so manually approaching is a process that teams typically do when they are you know just getting started with aws or learning how to deploy things but as the team size scale in and environments uh, are also scaling up then uh, we need a solution like cloud formation to uh, make the deployment process because it is much faster and also more consistent all right so now let's see how can we create an ec2 instance uh, using the cloud formation so i have a simple uh, yaml file uh, the template cloud formation template so using that i'm going to create uh, a cloud i mean cloud ec2 instance all right so i'll show you the uh, yaml right so yep here is my uh, yaml file so this is as simple as that uh, so it just says the resource and my instance type i'm going to give aws ec2 instance properties I, I, this are mandatory field okay so you have to mention an image id and also the instance type all right so i'm just mentioning these things alone but you have many other options also right so you can mention uh, a lot many things like you know see this is the uh, document which is provided by aws wherein you can refer uh, the templates okay if you have any doubts regarding templates you just go to this uh, site you can refer it okay so here if you just scroll down you see that for aws ec2 instance these are the fields that are available so out of which you can take according to a requirement and just place it in your uh, in your in your yaml file and you can just clone this yaml file in your cloud formation so it's as simple as that all right so now i'm going to import this file in the cloud formation all right so let's see how can we do that for which i will switch to the aws console i'm going to cloud formation so when you choose cloud formation you have to first create a stack all right so i'm going to create a stack so I'll say template is ready and uh, the template source either you can take it from an S3 or you can upload it uh, via a file. Okay, so any anyway it should be fine because anyway when you upload a template also it goes and keeps the files in S3 bucket. Right, so I'm going to choose a file. I will say yeah, so this is my file. Yep, so I'm just choosing this file, this is the ec2.yaml. So this is the S3 URL, as you could see. This is the S3 URL for this file. All right, so this file has been uploaded. And now I say next. And uh, stack name, uh, I'll say ec2. All right, so I'll say next. And uh, yeah, so I don't want to give any permissions for now, but yes, you can uh, uh, assign uh, roles also, IAM roles also. Uh, if you're not sure what is an IAM role, then please refer to my IAM video. And what else you have here? You have stack failure option. So what what should it do? You know, in case if it fails, what should it do actually? So uh, this option is by default selected. So it rollbacks all stack resources. So when it fails, it rollbacks and nothing uh, will happen. All right. So this option by default is chosen. So I'm just leaving it and uh, yeah so you have other uh, advanced options also uh, like notifications options uh, like we have seen in the last video we can subscribe to an sns so that you know uh, when this happens when uh, the when the stack runs when the script runs you'll get notified all right so this option is also there and rollback configuration is there so the monitoring time you can set and you can configure cloudwatch alarm too so you have lot many options in this but 
for now I'm not going to create any of this I'm going to say next and uh, yeah just to review yep all good yeah, say create stack so this will create a stack it says a uh, creation in progress so uh, if you just refresh and uh, it says again the creation is progress so in the background what it is doing is it's just is just creating an EC2 instance okay so if you do not uh, see here I did not mention any VPC or any such values right so if you do not mention any values it will take the default ones okay so for now if you uh, if I go to the EC2 tab let's go I'll just duplicate this tab and let me go to the EC2 dashboard alright so I'm here in the EC2 dashboard so if I see uh, so as you could see there is a pending uh, EC2 instance okay so it is trying to launch uh, it is getting launched so uh, this is, is launched in US East 1A and uh, so you have this public IP for this instance and so uh, we have given this t2.micro and this is the, the AMI I have given the Amazon Linux so you have that AMI here and yes it's running now All right, and if you go to cloud formation and just refresh this it will uh, show you oh, it's it's still creating here it's still creating okay so once it is done uh, it will just uh, the status gets changed and uh, with that so yeah as you could see here the status got changed now it says create complete it means that it have cre it has created without any failure okay so uh, instead of you know manually going to that EC2 instance clicking on various buttons uh, I just gave this script this is a very small script just gave the script and with this uh, I was able to launch an EC2 instance okay so this is as simple as that and it saves much of your time too alright so this is something about cloud formation so this way you can create lot many AWS resources using the cloud formation template alright so thank you for watching this video we'll see you in the next video